George St. Pierre is like this huge MMA fighter. Honestly, I never even heard of him until the Joe Rogan interview where he talked about healing his ulcerative colitis and using intermittent fasting. And this brings up a super interesting point on ulcerative colitis and what you can actually do to heal it and just the lack of actual helpful treatment that's out there right now. So today I'm going to be talking about George St. Pierre, what he's been doing for his ulcerative colitis and how that is actually so much better than what's conventionally out there right now. All right, if you don't know who I am, I'm Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist. Also of my master's in nutrition and human performance, which is essentially sports nutrition. So the fact that we're talking about an athlete today and what he's doing to heal his body is like, right in my wheelhouse. Okay, so like I said, to be honest, I had never even heard of George St. Pierre. I love sports, but I've never really been into MMA. So I had to do a little bit of research on him. Apparently he's an amazing MMA person. What do you call Fighter, it? MMA fighter. Back in, it looks like December of 2017, George St. Pierre actually had to quit the MMA because his ulcerative colitis was so severe. And so he's basically putting his health first, which is awesome. Now, something that I thought was interesting that he said the doctor said, and I'm gonna read exactly what he said the doctor said. He said that when he got the diagnosis of ulcerative colitis, the doctors told him, we don't know what caused it, but it could be the stress or the fact that you eat too much. Just keep that in mind for what we're going to be talking about soon. Now you may be wondering what the symptoms are for ulcerative colitis, why it's such an uncomfortable condition. Basically, it's where you literally have ulcers, bleeding ulcers that are in your colon. And that results in diarrhea that you can't control. It also results in bloody stool and a lot of abdominal cramping. Nearly a million Americans suffer from ulcerative colitis and it's a painful condition. Being a nutritionist, when I was in school for undergrad, we went over a lot of the ulcerative colitis or Crohn's conditions and what the treatments are for dealing with it. Because of course it deals with the GI tract and that's what we deal with as nutritionists. Now you have to hear this because it's actually pretty depressing. If you get the diagnosis of ulcerative colitis, there's really only two routes that the doctors will have you go through. It's either a lot of medication in order to calm down the inflammation that's going on in your GI tract, which really isn't a solution because you're not addressing what's causing the inflammation in the first place. And the second one is to remove your colon. And you heard me right. The treatment for this is to remove your organ. Now, just so you know what this looks like, because if you don't have a colon, there's a, there's a lot of bad stuff that happens. So first of all, in your colon, that's where you actually reabsorb a lot of water. So in your small intestine, which comes first in your whole GI tract system, your small intestine absorbs most of the nutrients, but in your colon is actually where you absorb electrolytes and water. And this is where you have your healthy gut bacteria too. One of the functions of your colon is to actually remove the water from that waste, which hydrates your body, but then also allows it to actually actually be poo. Otherwise, it would just be straight liquid. So if you don't have a colon, you're going to have a lot of electrolyte issues. You're going to be really dehydrated. Now think about this logically. Where is that going? So usually what happens when you don't have a colon, they actually literally have a external bag on the outside of your body where it is just connected <laughs> to like through in between your, your muscle tissue of your core. And it makes it so that since you don't have a colon to remove the waste, it makes it so that the waste is literally moved out into this bag that's just sitting on the side of your body. So not only does this make for some really uncomfortable social situations, and I know this because I had a family member who actually had to go through this process, but it also leaves you really susceptible to infections. Because think about it, it's just this bag that's connected to the inside of your body that has to be emptied by you manually, which means when you go to empty it, you have this hole that's open up into the environment. The inside of your body isn't supposed to be susceptible to the environment. That's why when you get a cut, you make sure that you disinfect it so that you don't get an infection. So you're every day when you go to empty this, you're always just opening yourself up to infection in the body. So needless to say, this is not something that I want anyone to have to do. Granted, there's not an actual studied treatment yet for this, really other than just cutting your organ out and giving you a bag instead, or being on lifelong medications. We shouldn't be resorted to cutting out an organ in order to solve a problem. You're not getting rid of what the problem was. The problem wasn't your colon. It's what's causing your colon to be inflamed in the first place. But remember what George St. Pierre's doctor said about his condition on how he actually developed it. They said it's possible that stress or eating too much were the two causes. We're always talking on this channel, looking at what the actual cause of a problem is in order to fix that problem in the first place. So if stress is an issue or if eating too much is an issue, the obvious solution is to reduce your stress and to eat less often. 
right? So why aren't more of us doing this? Well, turns out that George St. Pierre decided to do it. Yes, he went on the medications in order to help his symptoms, but then he decided to try intermittent fasting. Plus at this time, he also wasn't undergoing his training. He decided to leave the MMA in order to focus on his health. So he's addressing those two main concerns, stress and eating too often. As you guys know, I'm always talking about stress on this channel, especially with the hormone balancing series here. And of course, intermittent fasting. Okay, so going back to George St. Pierre, like I said, I first found out about this because he was on the Joe Rogan podcast and he's talking about how he's had amazing benefits from using intermittent fasting in order to heal his ulcerative colitis. So here's a few things he said. I wrote down a few quotes here because I just, I mean, this is amazing. This is something that can help millions of people. So while talking about intermittent fasting and how it's helped him with his condition, here's what George St. Pierre said. I've never felt better in my life. I sleep better, have reduced inflammation. His body fat percentage is down while his muscle mass is up, which is a common misconception about intermittent fasting. The fact that you might lose muscle mass, which I go into detail about here. And he says, as human beings, we're overfed. And then he goes on to talk about how he would just, as soon as he would wake up in the morning, he wouldn't feel like eating, but he'd force food down his stomach because that's how what he was trained to do. I mean, look at most of the guidelines that Americans are supposed to follow. We're told to eat every couple of hours. He even says that he now feels better training on an empty stomach, which again, I know a lot of people are concerned about when it comes to intermittent fasting. How will they get their training in? Another thing that I talk about with this video, he also says he feels sharper, more creative. He said it was hard in the beginning just because he you was know, so trained to always be eating, but but then after just a couple days, he adjusted and he feels so much better. This makes sense. Look at what the doctors told him one of the issues was, eating too often. I mean, your GI tract is an organ. It needs to have rest. If it's not going to have rest, it will break down. Just like how you wouldn't expect your car to go drive across country without gassing up or giving it just a rest. The same goes for your GI tract. And that is why we have so many issues in the US is because we're so used to eating all the time. Bloating, IBS, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, there's so so many issues related back to the gut. And as a lot of people are finding out, most of their symptoms are reversed simply from just not eating as often. That is so much better than cutting out your organ. If you suffer from some kind of issue with your GI tract, even if it's something as seemingly insignificant as bloating, make sure that you check out my whole playlist on intermittent fasting. It covers everything you need to know. I even have a 21 day intermittent fasting program where you can follow exactly step by step, meal by meal, the nutrient timing, all of the factors that you need to know in order to succeed with healing your gut and utilizing intermittent fasting. I recommend you start off with this video. It's long, but it goes over all the science you need to know and that's super important. If you're interested in all the science details of how to heal your body naturally, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.